And now, would you welcome Diane Bish. From First Baptist Church in Dallas, Texas, a joy of music special presentation featuring Diane Bish, the First Lady of the Organ, in a dedication concert of the new Margaret Morrison 149-ranked Keats Geisler Pipe Organ. Ladies and gentlemen, Diane Bish. Welcome to the joy of music. Today I want to share with you a very special occasion, the celebration and giving over to God of a great new instrument at the First Baptist Church in Dallas, Texas. One of the great privileges of being an organist and being able to travel around the country giving concerts is to share in these great moments when a church gives a great instrument over to the glory of God and to His use. I want you to join me as I share with you excerpts from two evenings of concerts and services in which over 7,000 people were in attendance. So won't you join me now as we praise the King of Kings with the King of Instruments at the First Baptist Church in Dallas, Texas. years ago in Europe, there was an organist named Louis Marchand, and Louis Marchand was one of the greatest organists of Europe, and he thought himself that he was the greatest. And of course, he made many tours, and on one of these tours, the townspeople there and some of the royalty 
thought that they knew someone that could outplay him. So they asked Mr. Marchand if he would enter into a competition with this young German youth that they knew. And of course he said yes, because he felt that no one could outplay him. And so, the day the competition was to take place, the great Master Marchand went to the door of the church to hear this young German youth practicing. And what he heard so overwhelmed him and so astonished him that the hour the competition was to take place, he was seen fleeing into the woods, lest his reputation be destroyed. And who was this young German youth that so overcame the master? It was none other than J.S. Bach himself. And J.S. Bach became the greatest composer to ever live for the organ. And many believe the greatest composer of all time. And why was his music so great? I believe there were two things. First of all, Bach took his music to perfection. And secondly, Bach dedicated his music and his life to the glory of God and to God. He has written on most of his compositions these two things, Jesus help me and to God be the glory. As a matter of fact, Bach said this, unless music is dedicated to the honor and glory of God, it is nothing but a clamoring and a twanging in the ears. So we're going to listen to one of Bach's great compositions now, the Toccata in F major, and I want to tell you what happens. First of all, Bach takes a melody and he plays it in the right hand. Then he plays it in the left hand, and the pedal note is just held on one note. But Bach must have gotten a little bored with that, so he takes the hands away altogether and the feet play the melody by themselves. He does it again. The melody in the left hand, then the right, and then the hands leave and the feet go off on a tangent all their own. He then adds a counter melody, that's another melody, and he has two melodies going, and hands and feet, and it's a real feat for the organist to play.
On the Joy of Music today, we are sharing with you excerpts from two dedication concerts on the great new Keats Geisler organ of the First Baptist Church in Dallas, Texas. The Bible tells us to praise the Lord. Praise the Lord with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Let's continue now in praising Him with this great instrument.
When I leave this benediction for our people to see you, would you come up here and stand right here? Her father and mother. We're so delighted to have them. What a benediction to have them. And you turn around there where people can see you. It's such a privilege to have you. <laughs> and our Lord, who would ever have thought this Panhandle, Texas boy would have ever been pastor of a church with such a magnificent instrument with which to praise thy wonderful name. Thank thee for the beautiful, gifted organist and artist and the father and mother who stand here with us in gratitude to heaven for so dedicated a daughter. Lord, make every coming day a marvelous, triumphant day for each one of us. And we'll love thee and praise thee for the answered prayer in thy dear and precious name. Amen.